No, it's because y'all are y'all are um y'all are more vanilla. Warning. The Loud Spot podcast uses adult humor and adult language in its broadcast. It may be unsuitable for younger audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Also, we are idiots. Please don't take anything. We say offensive or the heart. As we get started on today's episode, I do want to remind everyone to please like, subscribe, and share video and audio platforms. Jordan, if you're watching on video, you can already tell he is not here today. We are joined by a lovely lady over in the top corner over there who is his wife. Jordan, what's Jordan, is Jordan playing yes. a concert tonight? Yeah. Yeah. Jordan's okay, he's playing a concert. So Raven is here and she is joining us, filling in. For Jordan, so should be a yep. fun show. Fun facts about Raven: she is a mortician. I could not believe that. I've never met a mortician. I asked her uh, ghost stories. Anything ever happened? She said no, but she did tell me her favorite part about being a mortician. <laughs> if you care to uh, explain that to our listeners, so there are some instances if someone is um, recently, very, very recently deceased, there is a certain spot on the brain that you can like. Tickle, tickle a little bit, and it'll make them take like a fake breath. Uh, the first time so, you heard that, did it freak you out? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> she was taught probably by the uh, the medical examiner. Going, look, check this out. Watch this. Watch this. Yes. Watch this. Watch this. Yep. See, told you. <laughs> They're freaks back there. They are freaks. Sebastian. I can't imagine all the sick jokes. People make as morticians to like dead people, like making fun of like tattoos or making fun of you ever like this. Well, you probably shouldn't say something. We shouldn't ask that question. I get her in trouble on her first show. Yeah. Um, that's probably a bad, bad, bad idea. Yeah. We got an interesting show for everyone tonight. Um, we're gonna go into it with this. P story. Was that a dollar general or a dollar store? So let me set it up. Yeah, so it's a it's a Dollar Tree out in uh, South Bend, Indiana. Apparently, they have a problem with a cereal pisser, as we <laughs> shall call this person. Now they claim it's a he, and I don't know. And, and I got I got a problem with that. But take a look at the video. Unthinkable act. Adriana Shelton and her nine-year-old daughter Gray were at the Dollar Tree on South Bend Avenue shopping for a gift for Gray's teacher when Gray reached for a candle on the shelf. We're smelling candles. And she picked up a candle to smell and tilted it back and it literally liquid went down her. And at first we're like, maybe it's just water. And as we're walking through the store, the store we get a foul smell. And Grace goes, Mom, my shirt really stinks. That smell was urine. Sitting in the candle on the store shelf, appalled by the stain and the smell on her daughter's shirt, Sheldon went to the manager searching for answers. The store manager offered her shirt as a replacement. They told me it's been happening over a month and they're not able to catch the person doing it. And there's no cameras down the aisles where he is doing it. So the store employees, the manager has asked for corporate to put in cameras in those areas and corporate just doesn't want to pay for those. I talked to the store manager on duty today. They say Dollar Tree has been in contact with police and are trying to find who is urinating in the candles. It's just a mess. They need to do better. They need to actually care. Even if it's not what they want to do, at least have a warning. Hey, be on the lookout because this is just unacceptable. It's disgusting. I'm John Paul. Thanks. All right. Is, is, was that video freezing? No, it, no. it froze. It, it froze a little. It actually did. It, it did froze at the beginning and then it went away. Yeah, because my, my internet's just screwed up for some reason. Yeah. I got to figure worry. it out. It's at one bar right now. Anyways, right. why? Do, okay, so here's how they're doing it. They have to be going, getting a candle, going to the bathroom with the candle, peeing inside the candle, probably with a closed lid, putting the lid back on, putting it back on the shelf. Well, my only question is, where were you last all of last month, Sebastian? You're the closest to <laughs> Not South there. Bend, Indiana. I just want to make sure we we vent everything. 
But yeah, you're right. He's he, this person, and I'm not gonna say it's a he because it could be a she. It she, could be. A, it could be a girl a could easily write up the skirt. P p p zip zip zip. Well, what if they tested the p? If you test the p, can't you tell if it's male or female? Yes. So they probably maybe tested the p. But why would someone want to do that? In the what's the point? Just to do it? Just to get? I mean. And second of all, why I get I get not wanting to put extra cameras in the store because corporate's being cheap. I get that, but why right. don't you just move the candles to a different aisle that has a camera? There we go. And then take those products and put them in the other aisle. Then That's you got a what... camera on the candles. Can't the manager make that decision of let's move these candles over here? What's corporate going to complain about it? Well, it's, we yeah. got a serial peer over here. We got to protect our customers, man. Don't, well, I mean, or just take the candles off the shelf. Take the candles <laughs> off the shelf. Like, how do you know that they're not bringing the pee into the store with them? Because, you know, people are weird. They could be bringing a jar of pee and nonchalantly pouring it into the candles. There we go. That's another possibility. Oh, that's yeah. a good theory. I think I, like I, I would. Th- I think, th- yeah, I, you know, I'm going to go with Raven on that one yeah. because I just can't see a guy trying to pee individually in all these damn. We, we have a hard time trying to stop midstream just to pee in a cup for a fucking drug test. All right. <laughs> You ever tried to pee in a cup and then you yeah. but you have to stop because you can only feel you should only fill the cup up so much. Yeah. And then yep. you have to so you have to stop midstream. And if you're in your 40s, we all know this is true. Your muscles don't work like they used to. So you're trying to stop, but you're still going. Drip, 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 You know, so I don't have that issue. I don't have that. I don't have. But that's why peeing in the cup though was like probably three years ago. So maybe now I do. I don't know. Yes. Well, also, well, you know, you may not have a problem with peeing in the cup or or your muscles stopping your flow of pee, but you know, you're a fucking consistent pooper. So we'll put it that way. And Raven, you won't know this, but Sam, you ever like pee like you're in the middle of like a uh, like let's say you're in a bar or something like that and you pee and let's say you hit let's say you have to go the middle aisle because someone's over at one of the other ends and then someone goes right next to you to pee do you like stop your pee and then move urinals or do you just finish your pee with i just finish right next to you i finish and then i look over at that guy and be like what's up dude how you doing can i get, you, can I get <laughs> no. your number later on there is oh, urinal wow. etiquette don't go peeing next to the person that's uh if someone's already peeing Go to the stall. Give at least one space. Or, but if there's like four, go to the other complete other end. Well, I thought first when you said aisle, I was like, wait, are you trying to blame me? And said I was in Dollar Tree when you said aisle versus uh, urinal. You said aisle, by the way. Oh, oh, I meant urinal. Sorry. Yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I, mean, I was like, wait. Yeah, same thing. It's a whole. The girl, aisle. girls don't have that problem because they got their own, you know, private oh. stalls everywhere. Yeah. Sometimes I some sometimes sometimes I just go pee in a stall because it's easier. Yeah, you sit down too. I've and then going you. into a urinal. I've seen you. Speaking I've of people you. peeing on people, not a R. Kelly, yep. but P. P. Diddy, man. Oh, what, dude, oh. and this story gets more and more deep. First, how many oil baby oil bottles and lube did they find in his what is his house? Probably, I guess, in his establishment. Do you know? It was a lot, wasn't it? Like a thousand? Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was like yeah, a, it thousand, was a lot. Yeah. And that baby oil. oil. So you can't tell me you're innocent. Already you're guilty. Nobody has a thousand bottles of lube I'm mean, sitting anywhere. In fact, I don't even have any lube. I ran out. I got to get yeah. some more. I think <laughs> so you, we're, yeah. we're out of it completely. Yeah. But a thousand bottles? Are you kidding me? And, and, and they're not letting him get out on bail. No. And why why should they let him get out on bail? No, nope. and I think it's it's one of those things where you finally got caught. Um, you finally got the thing. Here's here's the biggest thing. We in the music industry, we were always told about the P Diddy parties. We were always told about the craziness with P Diddy, and now it's all just coming out. And and finally, people people are saying something about it. Um, I saw something the other day and it was a joke and it was like all the dildos and it was like, it was like a thousand dildos. 784. 784. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. Hold on. 784 dildos and a thousand bottles of lube and baby oil. Well, no. the dildos I couldn't find that it was actually true, but no. the baby oh, oil okay. and lube. Yes. Yes. So that we could say anything to Sebastian. He'll believe it by the way. No, I, I mean, uh, I looked, no You know, I was just, I was listening to some, someone's, uh podcast and it was the uh, insane clown posses and they had said uh 
mentioned something that was not true. And I was like, that's not true. It was the Hawk Tua, how she got fired from being a teacher. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were talking oh, about yeah. it like it was factual. I'm like, no, she was never a teacher. That was already. And why are they talking about it now? This is like, you know, old news at this point. But yeah, oh. I I, th- I thought about maybe maybe we sometimes say the wrong thing. Oh yeah, we listening. do. Like, we these do. motherfuckers don't know what they're talking about. We do. Remember we and we always say that, folks, guys. If you're getting your news from us, that's on you. That's on you. We we don't research shit for the most part. We research a little bit, but if I know it's not true or not uh, true or not true, then then I'll say something and say, ah, so like the dildo thing, like I was saying, 784, it was, it was just a picture with a whole bunch of massive dildos. I was thinking of Jordan actually, when I saw that photo, I was like, Jordan, <laughs> believable. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he's got a pretty good collection, right? He does. He does. And yeah. I don't, I don't get to play with any of them, but it kind of reminds <laughs> me of the guy that doesn't have his arm and he gets all these weird funky attachments and then it oh. jumps into the paramedic. That's just like, no, no. <laughs> that's oh, yeah, no. Dude, am I freezing a whole lot right now or no? Cause I'm stuck on one bar. Yeah. You, you're freezing. Yeah. But what do you want to do, Sebastian? You want to stop the show? No, no, no. We're going to keep on going. You don't, stop to... show, you don't stop the show for me when I'm freezing. I just want to complain about it. So everyone knows I know that I'm freezing and we're going to continue on audio. It'll be great, though. OK, right. what I do want to know, though, is who's going down with P. Diddy? Who is he taking everyone. with him? Is it Oprah Winfrey? Ah, uh, Is it Oprah? Is it Jay-Z Obama? and Rocket Obama? Yep. Is Obama so there, going down with them? So the word on the street is the word on the street. What's the, I word? Don't pull. <laughs> the word on the street is Remember, there's a lot of uh, powerful people in positions aka a lot of politicians and they he, they requested for you know underage girls basically the sex ring thing so and whereas p diddy was another epstein providing these young ladies for service for power for you know exchange right. and stuff like that, and Obama's name uh, in the uh, and a lot of other congressmen and, and senators' uh, names come in there. But here, here's here's what's gonna we already had the same thing with Epstein, right? Right. We already yeah. had, and then we had then uh, uh, Giselle Maxine Giselle or Giselle Maxine, however you say her name is, um, the sec, her uh, Epstein secondhand man, so to speak. She gets caught. We hear nothing about that. Her shit gets sealed real quick. Why? So I'm hoping, and I know P. Diddy will sing like a damn canary because oh, he, yeah. of course he's a he punk. Is. He's a he ain't punk trying to stay in jail the rest of his life. He's already going to no. be in jail the rest of his life anyways. But he's right. gonna, he's gonna, they're going to say, hey, if you talk, well, you, you won't spend the rest of your life in jail. He's going to say something, dude. He's too into himself to not say right. something. Right. Yeah. So. My only question is, are you going to sing like a canary? Are you going to dime people out like Takashi 6 9 did back in the day? Um, I, I, I have a feeling he's going to dime a lot of people out, and I think it's going to be a lot of famous people. But my only he's going to die is, before that happens? Is he going to get murdered my, in prison? I think so. I think uh, well, Epstein, Epstein, Epstein died in prison, right? Yep, and then okay. jail. And then, then yeah. this guy dies in prison. Yeah. Conspiracy theories fucking galore, but are there conspiracies at that point? Two well, main weird sex ring motherfuckers die in prison. Two okay. very powerful rich men. Okay, how about this? Here's a little even more. Where was Epstein housed? What state? What city? I don't know, actually. Oh. New, York. New York, New York. Where Where's does P. Diddy P- live? Oh, he got arrested in New York. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just saying, I'm not trying to throw out a conspiracy theory. But if too he late. comes up too late, if he, if he comes up dead, come on, guys, that's two people with a lot of information on on that could give out a lot of information. And I didn't, they, all of New York's fucked. Potentially. I, I, Raven, do you think about that, that they're both from New York? Well, I mean, I'm sitting here thinking, you know, they did give Diddy a key to New York, you know, like last year. And then they made him return the key in November when they started this 18 month long, you know, indictment they got. So, uh, yeah, they're they're uh, they're screwed because the man's got books. You know, he's got books. He's got names. All he's got to do is either turn over the book or start spilling names because he knows exactly what everybody did. Mm-hmm. Damn. Yeah, There's so. uh, Usher might be involved. I saw. Yeah. Usher. Uh, uh, Cuba C- Cuba Gooding Jr. He was on the one of the lost the the uh, some lawsuit paper. His name was. Oh, I read really? it. 
Yeah, I read mm-hmm. it on the fuck. I read the some article that had his name on it that was tied to the P, this whole P oh. Diddy thing. There was a bunch of celebrities I didn't know that were on there, or I don't know if they were celebrities, but a lot of people I didn't know, supposedly celebrities. Uh, right. But then there was some people that I did recognize, and that was one name that stood out to me because you think of him as a family actor, good guy kind of person. I do, anyways. So okay. it'd be interesting. It'd be interesting to find out um, who all goes down with P Diddy in this big. I don't know. Fiery but, flame of sex uh, ringing and and what what oops. sex trafficking and prostitution and mm-hmm. fucking drugging people and all kinds of shit. Yep. So we'll see. We'll see if he doesn't end up dead in the cell. I'm just saying. He's gonna end all up. Right. Right. Put money on it. <laughs> Yeah. All $2, right, let's take two dollars on it. Go ahead. Two dollars and fifty cent. <laughs> fifty yeah. cent. Oh shoot. All oh, right. He was one. No, yeah. no, no. Fifty cents again. Fifty cents are complaining we're about just kidding. Yeah, for the we're longest. kidding. Yeah, fifty cent is not on the, any list, but we're gonna say he is anyways. Him, M&M. Eminem, all, all of them. All right, let's take a quick break. We'll be right after this. All right, Miley Cyrus getting sued by the Bruno Mars team. And when I was explaining it earlier, I was kept on saying Taylor Swift for some reason. I don't know why. But it's Miley Cyrus getting sued by the Taylor Swift team. Um, her song is called Flowers. Wait, that hold, was... on, hold on. You just said Taylor Swift team. The Taylor Swift team? Oh, yeah. God damn it. See, I keep on doing that. The why Miley are you guys? Cy- I don't know. Quit hanging up on Cyrus Taylor. Team. I'm not Taylor Swift. If I say Taylor Swift anywhere on this episode, just know it's Miley Cyrus is what I'm talking about. Okay? It's the other white bitch. <laughs> no, it's not. I said if I say Taylor Swift, <laughs> no, I mean it's Miley Cyrus because Taylor Swift is not even in our topics tonight, except no. for now she is because we just talked about her a couple times, yep. but it's Miley Cyrus and her song, uh, Flowers, that was released in 2023. Bruno Mars has a song called From When I Was Your Man. Uh, mm-hmm. That came out like in 2012, probably something like that. I don't remember the exact right. year it came out. And so his team is suing the Miley, is suing Miley Cyrus. So for co- I guess copyright, um, I have yeah. both the songs just like 30 seconds ish on each song. I don't think now when I said earlier, Sam, you said it was maybe the cadence or the lyric. Excuse me, the, the lyrics. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the lyrics. What you mean? He's I, over here just burping. I, I ate a salad. Uh, Blame it on the salad. And a lamb meatball. Maybe That's what I had for dinner. Meatball. And I had that for lunch also. There was no, you don't like lamb? No, I love lamb. I'm no, just Raven doesn't like lamb. No. So I've I'm never tried edit. lamb, but I'm just going to say no. No, it's good. It's really good. <laughs> you, 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 ever, you, ever had had gyro. Gyro? you ever had a gyro? No. no. You ever had, okay, Mediterranean food? Dude, I survive off of tacos. That's it. It's it. her and Jordan are hot dogs, tacos, and burger and whatever Jordan burgers and from. pizza. That's it. Well, let, okay. Well, lamb meat, bodily is, fluids. lamb meat is good. It's it's like lamb and beef probably together. Yeah. Is how they do it in the Mediterranean world. It and is. it's uh, it's a lamb meatball that I had a Greek salad with that was super good. It was but it was big, so I ate half it for lunch and I ate the other half for dinner. Well, so now we're he- now we're hearing about it through your microphone. <laughs> <laughs> And the po- that's not professional for podcasting. Well, fuck you, people who don't like it because I, you know, that's. It. Anyways, back to Miley <laughs> Cyrus and uh, Bruno Mars. Let's play. Okay, let's play Flowers first. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then we're going to play the Bruno song, uh, Bruno Mars song, When I Was Your Man. Let's play the all Flowers right. one. And remembered I, I can buy myself flowers. Write my name in the Talk to myself for hours Say things you don't understand I can take myself dancing And I can hold my own head Yeah, I can love me better than you can Okay, okay. now, she's talking about She could buy herself flowers She doesn't need yeah. a man to buy her flowers She's right, right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, Bruno Mars on when I was your man's talking about, I would buy you flowers if I, if I was your man. man. And you listen go. to the beat even. Go ahead. It all just sounds like. Should 
to give you all my hours. So, okay, so he's more or less saying he should have bought you flowers to stay with yes. you. But more or less, I was just saying I could buy myself flowers, you son of a bitch. Okay, right? We can right. remove that from the screen. All right. <laughs> well, you stopped it, so I was like, Oh, okay. I didn't know it just it stopped. That was the end of it. I oh, that was that was it. I didn't record that long. Okay, okay, so here's the thing. I don't think they sound the same at all. No, they not. do not. The the cadence is not the same. Is it? No, no. it's the, the cadence is not the same. That what I uh, what I meant earlier to you, I was actually I was I was talking about the lyrics. They're they're saying they're using their lyrics, it's the same lyrics, but if you listen to it, I was wrong. No. It's a playoff of what Bruno said. I, I, I should have bought you flowers if I was your Anyone man. can say flowers in a song. I agree. I think there's no case. I don't think there's a case here. I don't think it'll go very far. Um, if anything, Bruno should be happy that Miley and their team, you know, uh, talked about flowers. Because it made us automatically think of that song with this when flowers came out. And it's like, oh, that's pretty catchy. I don't need your shit. I'll okay, now, now now think about this. I, I don't know if this is to be factual, but I thought, and I've talked about, it, I think a long time ago, that mm -hmm. Green Day tried to sue Papa Roach over Last Resort because Green Day song "Dunna Dunna 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 Dunna." Right? Uh, what song is that by Green Day? I'm trying, having trouble We're trying, trying to Dunna Dunna. Now Papa Roach, Last Resort goes. But 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 Green Day tried to sue Pop Roach, which I thought had a better case than this, if if I if that's accurate information, because the dunna 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 and they lost because Green Day did it on guitar and Pop Roach only did it on bass. Okay, and and I think also too that I think that Green Day song came way up versus Last Resort. Last yeah, Resort, it did. Was, That's why Green Day tried to sue Papa Roach. They thought they copied their their. Uh, no, no, no. I'm saying Green Day song came out way later. Like no, Green Day song came out first. Oh, okay. Papa right. Roach did get famous like 2001. I was in oh, high, okay. I was a senior in high school and like, 2001. Yep. <laughs> He's all pro about this, and Dave. Dave I, know, said, look, I know Papa. They live for the from Vacaville. I Vacaville. saw them before they got famous, so, I, so, you know, so like I, if I just, anything, I can see Miley Cyrus coming off as like the other side of Bruno Mars, mm -hmm. but they're not even in the same count. No, um, it they're not the same lyrics. Yeah, they mention flowers. Big Whoop. There's a lot of songs that mention flowers. Right. I just think they're 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 Stretch. reaching. They're stretching, yeah. Do you think? Yeah. I think Bruno Mars plays piano. It sounds like only in his thing, where right. he, Miley Cyrus is more electrical, like you know, uh, electronic, whatever the mm -hmm. fuck. How right. do they make that music? <laughs> <laughs> but they just put fucking fairy dust on it. It just happens, Sebastian. That's what happens. You know, when you go over to Dave's house, that's how you guys make music. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Okay, but here's the deal. So Bruno Mars actually is not mentioned as a plaintiff. No. Because okay. I think I think it's the songwriters of Bruno Mars' song and the team and the production team. It's and... Tempo Music Investments that now owns the rights yeah. to that song. How right. the fuck does that work? So you don't even own the rights to your own music? Like that's just so like Bruno. No. So so Bruno Mars could even if Bruno Mars want wanted to be a plaintiff, which I doubt he really himself even gives a shit about this. No, I don't think. But so. but he doesn't even own anything. So how could he? I don't think he owns any rights. He may own a little bit. I don't know. But he owns probably songwriter credit. That's it. He still gets paid for songwriting. So he probably couldn't be enlisted in the as a plaintiff anyways if he doesn't actually own the the music. I just I don't I don't I don't see it, but they're saying that they're they're suing Sony, they're suing Apple, they're suing Target, they're suing Walmart. Um, did not say Spotify on there for distribution and wants them to stop distributing it immediately. That flowers is so big, dude. Come on, shut the fuck up. What are they doing this for? Yeah, the money. It's a cash grab. I think I think the problem is is when they bought Bruno Mars's song, it's not really going it. It's not making a lot of money. So maybe this is also just you you know my biggest thing. Maybe this is just a PR stunt to get it out there to remind people to have people like yourself go over to Spotify click it listen to it that's another click which i did yeah. i did on apple yeah. music i screen recorded yeah. it from my phone exactly so maybe it's that who knows what it is but i think this industry is getting it's getting ridiculous with a lot of the there's some blatant 
uh, blatant plagiarism that happens within the music yeah. industry. Like me, when I when I released a song, uh, just what was it called? Uh, from Tiffany, the original. Yeah, uh, 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 Tiffany's not the original, but Children Behave. Yeah, ch- yeah that's yeah, what we behave. say. But I think we're alone now. I think we're I alone think now. I think we're live. Ob- obviously, I took every single fucking lyric from right. that song and put it into a techno dance beat song. That's mm-hmm. what I did. Uh, you know, we, we made the music for it, but the lyrics are the same. But you're gonna sue me or my two listeners, or me and David Tony. Maybe right. Sam might click it once and tell us how we suck. So maybe get three yeah, people it. listening to it. Yep, and just and, grab to make it relevant again. Yep, that's what I think this is. Why pick on Why pick on Miley Cyrus? I mean, I guess I'd pick on her too because fuck her, right? Because she's she's still got she's still got weight and she's still got money. Bruno's over here doing residencies, uh, you know. So maybe he's at the he's. At, I always think Bruno actually has been on a downward spiral ever yes. since he kind of changes. He changed his style to that R and B that R and B stuff, and I know he was trying to find his his place in the music industry. But we can all agree, uh, his old stuff from with Gym Class Heroes. Um, his solo stuff that he did, grenades. This one, I can buy you flowers. If I or if I was your man, all that that album that came out, mm. that was the shit. That was good stuff. Um, I would say you should get back to that kind of stuff. Me personally, and I think people would actually find you relevant again. But again, I don't make music. I I'm I'm just not. I'm just a manager. I just manage. So I have these thoughts. So. Another lawsuit I disagree with is the White Stripes suing Donald Trump. You know how many bands have sued Donald Trump? <laughs> right. You know, just he should just ask fucking permission. You know what I'm saying? Like, because everyone just says no, so he says fuck it, I'm gonna play it anyway. That's what right. he's doing. And the White Stripes are suing him, I guess, for playing a Seven Nation Army at one of his right. rallies. Mm-hmm. I mean, come on, dude. Like, what? Why? First of all, people are now are gonna listen to that song probably. No, more, more so than they than they they're not going to not listen to because he played more conservatives. Probably. Yeah, more conservatives might listen yeah, to. It but the, pe- the people that that are liberals that that are not paying attention to Donald Trump rallies and what song he plays, right. like it's not going to hurt them. I, I get you don't support him, but is he not I, paying them? Is that what he's like? <laughs> I guess I don't know. I mean, name another song besides Seven Nation Army" by the White Stripes. Yeah. We'll wait. Oh, that's, oh, that's <laughs> exactly. oh, huh. Yeah, yeah. I they actually have another song, I'll, but I'll I can't. I'll sing a plain white tease. They have that other song. Hey there, Delilah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey there, Delilah. You're right, Raven. Yeah, no one. I mean, that's no. the only song. There might be one, but I don't know the name of it. I don't know. So you you can take Donald Trump to court over this white stripes, but you and I both know he probably had no choices of what the music was being played that day before he walked out. It was the DJ. It was the master of ceremonies. It was whoever organized that thing. And I don't even think they cared. They just like, all right, we need some upbeat. We need some upbeat. Mm, dum, dum, dum. You know, without it being metal. Of course, if it was Sebastian, uh, he would just say play some metal. Um yeah. But I think this is a popular song that has a very rudimental beat. Dun, 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 dun. And it's a simple beat. So it's easy to walk out to, like a wrestler walking out well, to the name of the song, mm-hmm. Seven Nation Army. I guess it kind of goes. But I'll, you know, I'll, say, I'll say this about, uh, and I think it's a stupid lawsuit. I don't know why people are yeah. suing. I mean, you know, I don't, I, I, don't, I don't think anyone's trying to sue Kamala for any songs. But, you know, yeah. the music industry is very liberal anyways. She's also not playing a lot of new metal, which tends to be a little <laughs> more conservative. But I will say this about Jack White. And he's probably going to sue me over this. I think he looks like a fucking prick. In, mm. in real life, he, he is a fucking prick. I seen him uh, at the Video Music Awards one year. I, right. I believe it was the Video Music Awards. And he was walking. Uh, Jack Black was presenting an award to White Stripes. So Jack White's up there getting the award. And Jack Black says to Jack White, Hey, Jack Black, Jack White tries to make a joke, and Jack White just looks at him like, Shut the fuck up, dude. Dude, fuck you, Jack White. <laughs> yeah, relax, relax, Sebastian, relax, relax, relax. The Woosa, wiener Woosa. sucker over there. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want Sebastian getting too worked up over this thing, but I, I'm not even drunk. So. I'm not even, and drunk. Then I know he's sober. That's and probably you. I don't, I don't get, I don't care. I don't care if. If you're, it's just stupid that you're suing. And I'm not, honestly, Sam, you know, we've talked about me and Donald Trump. I'm not, I'm not, I'm really kind of very middle. I'm probably not even going to vote this year. Right. I, it's so it has nothing to do politic. It's not political why I don't like 
I think it's stupid. I just think it's stupid. I would think it's dumb if anyone sued Kamala Harris also for playing right. a song at her event. I, it's not the WWE where they're walking out every single day to your song. Right. Televised and all that stuff. But yeah. it's being used a thousand times. No, it's probably a one-time thing and that city and that state and all that kind of stuff. Maybe, and, and I don't even know where this at, but maybe it was the state that Jack and, and Meg, you know, you know, supposedly came from, you know, maybe it was that. Who maybe. Knows? I, I, I from I, Wichita, Kansas. Yeah, I yeah, I think that's actually correct. Yeah, I, think I think it's so. from Wichita. But I think um I think it's just again, it's just one of those things where it was played. You're wasting your time and you're wasting our court, uh our court with this BS kind of stuff. Yeah. The thing is, okay, so they take him to court now. Is this song been played multiple times? Now, if it's been played multiple times, they want him. All they got to do is uh, cease and desist. Right. That's it. But That's all they got to do. Donald Trump's not going to show up to court over. He's just going to say, no. Here's your, what, how much you're suing him for? Oh, no, what's right. what, like a fucking billion dollars? Dude, yeah. everyone's so too happy, even in the music industry. If you're a struggling right. artist that used to be famous, that's going downhill. Apparently right. you're suing people nowadays. Oh, just yeah. sue and get you a settlement and you're good. Yep. Um, yeah, which uh, Sebastian, I'm suing you for um, pain and suffering good. Of, the, of this show that, uh, that <laughs> I'll that counter I sue had. you. I'll counter sue you. <laughs> counter sue you. I'll counter sue you. <laughs> All right, let's I'll, take a I'll quick. I'll see you for the same exact thing that you're suing me for. <laughs> right. for like pain and suffering on the show. I'm and it just suing Sam for the same exact thing. It'll cancel each other out. And then we'll just go back to, uh, you know, doing the show and like, fuck. Well, hey, we'll have something to talk about. That's Dude, it. we should PR ourselves. That's it. Yeah, and, like, we should. Give all this big we... thing for us that Sam okay, and Sam are suing each other. Right. And then eventually. Maybe was there to witness it. Yeah. But no one would pay attention. And that's the problem. <laughs> no one and then we care. call her in on, on both sides. famous and, first. Yeah. yeah. We had, well, that's what. But if we try to make ourselves. Dude, we should just sue someone super famous. Who could we sue? <sighs> I, I you can since you talk about him, let's do Jacoby. You always want to you I'll you're always about, yeah, let's let's just, dude, yeah. Let's do let's him for not do. coming on the podcast and I'm from the same hometown. That's right. And that's discrimination so, for that's some right. reason. For some reason, and for some reason, we'll flip it, it to discrimination. That's it. Because I'm brown, bro. That's it. I'm brown. All right, let's take a quick break. We'll be right after this. Bon Jovi. This is courtesy of YouTuber Nightfall. Yep. You won't believe what the rock legend John Bon Jovi does for this woman after seeing her standing on the ledge of the bridge. Because at first people passing by were just ignoring her, despite her obvious attempt to do something tragic. Until John Bon Jovi finally notices she was holding onto the ledge facing the river. First slowly and calmly and then starting to speak to the woman in distress. What are the odds that a rock star would be filming a music video at the right place at the right time to save somebody's life? And we can only guess what he actually said to this woman. All we know is that it was enough to make her reconsider her decision. Soon, John Bon Jovi was helping lift her back over the ledge to safety. There we go. Yeah, it goes on, but it kind of, kind of repeats itself in, in yeah, the video. Yeah. But you know, uh, there's been a lot of shit talk about Bon Jovi I, that I was re when I went. I went on a rabbit hole of people talking shit about him. But just regardless of that, this one human act of kindness. So when you see somebody, and I'm from the Bay Area, so you cross the Golden Gate Bridge, you see people. There's there's every I don't know if it's every mile or so on that bridge, or every half mile or whatever it is. There's a suicide hotline number. Yep. Yeah. And you see someone on the other side of that bridge. The only reason why they're on that other side of that bridge, unless there was friends trying to be and, and playing chicken with death, is because they're going to commit suicide. This is one of those things where how many people pass by her, her on the other side of the rail? You not know what anything. that means and not say mm -hmm. one word. And we've become very desensitized to this. Now, we can probably agree that because it was John Bon Jovi, because 
he does work in the music industry because he doesn't he does understand depression he does understand suicidal thoughts he understands how many people especially in the music industry have took their own life um, in some way, shape, or form, that he was able to identify that real quick and say, hey, what are you doing here? Now, granted, they said he was filming a music video. Um, so maybe he didn't want that extra in the background. I'm just saying he's probably not going to go well. Yeah, like, the dude, go, go see, yeah, it's, po it's possible. <laughs> it's possible. But, but I think he probably yeah. saw it and really yeah. was like, no one, no one's, you know, this, uh, we're going to go a little bit over, but I, I can edit it down, okay? Um, right. Uh, earlier today, I was driving to the. I was actually leaving the gym, and uh, there was this guy who. who had, there was one. this guy who looked like he was pretty drunk. Like he just looked like he was wasted, uh -huh. and he was crossing the crossway. Kind of stumbled back, stumbled forward. Kind of was leaning. He just looked like he was really drunk, and right. I didn't. I didn't say anything. I I I was like, look at that drunk idiot right there. Yeah. But after I passed him, I thought about it. This guy looked like he had been working all day. It's 100 degrees here today. Right. What if he was having heat exhaustion, was having heat stroke, and I just thought he was a drunk dude? Yep. Good job. You know, I, maybe I should stop my car to see if he was drunk, first of all, which I'm pretty sure he was, but, it could, but he might not have been. He could have just been, like, confused and having a heat stroke, and I just passed him up like everyone else did, and maybe he's dead now. I don't you know. You, uh -huh. you, don't, you, don't, you don't know, you know. Right. So. And and we during the heat, uh, the heat wave that we had here in Vegas, we had a lot of homeless people uh, pass out uh, because they they'll fall asleep right there wherever they're at because they're probably on fentanyl, mm -hmm. they're on something else. Uh, but I do have a rule, and I think if everyone at least maybe tries this rule, maybe you'll you'll help someone out. The third person you see in trouble, stop. Maybe you can't do it for the first one or the second one because you're, you know, you're in route to something. But you see th the third person, no matter what you're doing, if you're heading to work or something like that, just go ahead and call in the work. Say, hey, um, I stopped real quick to help someone out. They were in dire straits. Your work probably will, will forgive you for that. Those kinds yeah. of things. So three people. And I, and I, I usually used to use this tactic when I'm on the road. And you saw the third vehicle break down and you're like, ah, you know what? I, someone should say something. Now, granted, uh, most states have a great response team, those kind of things like that. But let's maybe apply it to on the street. You see something, the third person on the street, maybe you should say something or help out. Uh, maybe it'll make this world just a little bit of better place. But uh, who knows? If you have the time to help everyone, um, yeah. Mm. All right, that's it. <laughs> Let's play this last song by a killer's confession called Voices, and then before we end the show, we're going to get into Beyonce and what happened at the CMAs. Beyonce recently attended the CMAs. I don't know how recent it was, but it probably wasn't that long ago. If Dolly Parton's talking about it right now, and apparently she got zero nominations Correct. for her new album. Uh, was it Cowboy Carter? And then her yep. song Texas Hold'em. No nominations. I don't have a problem with that. I don't have no, a problem. She got no nominations. You know why I don't have a problem with that? She's what not a true country artist. She's an okay. R and B artist. But who you did a country like, song. But you said this was a really good album and a really good country song. But if you're at the CMAs, you're around all these real country artists. Oh that wait, well, oh, 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 what, 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 don't, what? Don't try I mean, to this is a really good example of you were really good in one genre. And yes, right. you, you are good in that genre. But just because you're good in this one does not mean you are good in another one. And right. my personal opinion as a country music person, it sucks. Yeah, I didn't like it. <laughs> okay, see, I didn't like see, it. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't think it sucked. Um, but I would say that I don't think she was deserving of no. an award. No. no. No, and I and I think that's what Dolly Parton said. You weren't snubbed. You just didn't meet the requirements that the rest of us country music artists have met in order to receive a nomination from the CMA, the Country Music Awards. You can get one from VMAs. You can get one from MTV Video. Uh, MTV. What's the other one? Uh, AMAs. You, there's a whole bunch of other awards you, but see, BET awards gonna, probably might have nope. given her award. Sebastian, I, I knew you were gonna go there. <laughs> God damn it! Why? Well, it could, it could give her an award. Be, there's a possibility. There's yeah, a possibility because, because, because because she did she did the BET awards are not just about hip hop music. It's about the black community in general. In general, mm -hmm. right. And, and, right? and she 
is the only black female artist, uh, if not the only black artist, I don't know, to hit number one across multiple billboards for her song, Texas Hold'em. Okay, no. Bo- uh, bougie or b- boozy or whatever. Um, the, uh, oh, I'm trying to think of he has got dreads. He looks a little bit like the week weekend's old hairstyle. He just doesn't narrow it down. One, it, <laughs> dun, 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 Yeah, that's a country song. So maybe black female then. Okay, I'll give I you black female. Yeah, you yeah, still have tra- black woman to have right. a number one country song. That's what. It yes. Was. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's. I'll give you that hundred percent because there was okay. Charlie Pride way before that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and he is black. So, so, but that's that, but but the CMAs aren't just going to give you an award just because of that. Whether it hit multiple okay. billboards or not, well, you're not a country artist. You do right. hip hop or not hip hop. You do R and B music, okay, right. and pop music, uh-huh. and you do one country. Really, the whole album wasn't country. No, it's no. country pop. Country yeah. pop. Uh, but but that one song, Texas Hold'em, was a country song. Right. But you're not come out with like two like prove yourself to be a country artist like two you're two not going another to, you're to Jay Z I mean he's not, it's not gonna happen with the right. fake blonde hair she was there just you know what? it was it was I you know I, what I, did, I did not dislike the album like Raven I actually thought it was okay but I'm not a bit I know it's a, no no hey a lot of people <laughs> didn't like that album a lot of a lot of country fans probably didn't like that right. album you're allowed right. to not mm-hmm. like the album there's all kinds of shit that sound like I'm like fuck that it's horrible and yeah, vice versa. Yeah. But um, I just, I, I don't think she, I, I like the song, but deserving of a CMA award for it, not quite no. yet. I, you know what would have been funny? This would have been hilarious. Whoever, let's say like Morgan Wallen gets the, uh, gets the award for album of the year or, or new, our new country album, whatever, whatever album. And then Kanye interrupts kind of like how he did with Taylor. <laughs> that would have been fun. I know, I know you'll have your second, you'll have your second, but Beyonce released a country album. This year, you know, that would have been hilarious. That would have been icing on the cake. I don't think Kanye was there. <laughs> no, but <laughs> it, they should have invited him. I'm they just saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't. I didn't watch the CMAs. Um, I, you know what though? I will say, and Sam, you've noticed it. I like more and more country music. Oh yeah, you're getting more and more into. I, I, it's not my favorite genre, but there are some songs that I will play on repeat a few hey, times. I'll, I'll tell you who had a great country album this year. Um, and no one's really talking about it. Is uh, Post Malone? He's gonna have Did a he? great country. He's it's coming out still, but he's going to have a great country album. He's already done a couple songs we've already seen. So I thought you were gonna, I thought you were gonna segue into Jelly Roll, and I was like, I was nope. like, what are you talking about, Jelly Rolls? <laughs> but but yeah, you no, no. the same person, you know. Yeah, anyways, but was, um, was, but I. That. I did mention that, so you can segue into Jelly Roll. All right, good job, there Sam. What a yeah, good well, it's, it's all fucked up now, so it doesn't matter. All right, let's, uh, let's, <laughs> right. let's go into Jelly Roll. What are we talking about, Jelly? Oh yeah, yeah. Loyalty. Jelly Roll is set September twenty eighth to play, I believe, what Long Island, New York. Right. Um, mm-hmm. September twenty eighth in Long Island, New York. He was scheduled a concert. Which who? How many fans do you think Jelly Roll is pulling in an auditorium right now? I t- I think he's probably pulling almost close to arena sizes, like three Which to is- six, three to six, roughly. Three, in there. What's three to uh, six? three to six thousand people? Three to six thousand. Okay. Yeah. So well, if he was just talking about him alone, I think he can pull at least arena size people. Wait, uh, arena size is like twenty thousand. No, arenas arenas about six. It could go up to up to like seven thousand. So you, you don't think he'd sell out the Oklahoma City Thunder uh, dumb over here? The Paycom but, Center, which I don't but, know how many people it sits, but it's more than three to six thousand. Yeah, that's twenty. That's a twenty. You don't think you can pull twenty thousand? I don't think you can pull twenty thousand. No, depends. I mean, what, there's what a lot of perfect. He might could, and like depends on the area. Right. Maybe not in New York, but he probably could like in maybe Oklahoma, Oklahoma City. Yeah. If he doesn't play Dallas, he doesn't play St. Louis, he doesn't play uh, anything south past Wichita. No one's going to Wichita anyway. So it doesn't play Kansas City. In other words, where people will have to drive to see him because that's the closest place. Okay. All right. So All right. anyways, he's so it's a sold out concert. People make travel plans. They buy their right. airplane tickets. People from who knows where they're coming. Airplane tickets, hotels. Right. They call, take time off of work. SNL calls him. Saturday Night Live calls him. Says, hey, September right. 28th, we want you to do our 50th season premiere episode. Right. Mm-hmm. What does Jelly Roll do? Cancel his concert. It. 
Cancel this concert. Now, not cancel. Reschedules for a Monday. He just moves it to Monday. When was it supposed to be on a Saturday? Correct. Yes. It goes to a Monday. So people have to. Now, if you called off work and you're coming all the way from who knows where. Right. You got to do your flight. You're flight. taking off an extra day. Mm-hmm. That's all you're doing. Yeah, okay. Maybe people got flights back on Sunday. I, I, right. I, I Do you think that he should have rescheduled it or should he have, or should he stuck with it and told SNL to fuck off? Raven, we'll go to you first. <laughs> so that is a double edged sword. And I say that because this is going to be a big episode for SNL. Yes, right. it is. And it, it's, it's huge and it's really good for his career. So right. on one end, yes, this is a selfish move for him. But on the other end, his diehard fans that are mad at him for furthering his career are also being as equally selfish. Yes, that's fair. So I'll sum it up really simple. Suck it up, Buttercup. He's doing SNL. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you want to watch the those tickets are good for Monday. Extend your time, extend your thing, stuff like that. Maybe he'll write you a thank you. Maybe he'll write you, I'm a sorry I had to do this because obviously now it's become PR. Now, granted, he's got a good PR team. This was a good PR. Yeah. It's not a stunt, but it's a good thing to talk about because it's going to make him lead into a couple other things because what they're questioning is his loyalty to his fans. He's pretty loyal to his fans. So um, suck it up, guys. This happens all the time. It's not been canceled. It has been rescheduled. If not, go get your money back. Simple. Here's my here's my two cents on it. Not that it matters. But look, you said three to six thousand. Hypothetically, let's just let's just say, let's say it's twenty thousand. We'll just say it's a fake number. We'll say it's twenty thousand right. people. And let's say every single one of those twenty thousand people is pissed off at you. 20,000 mm-hmm. people are mad at you. They hate you now. How many people are going to watch SNL? How many people are going to... Millions million. of people are going to watch it. So mm-hmm. I would do the same thing and I would trade millions of viewers for 20,000 people pissed off at me. You're still making good music. You still have fans all over the world. So it's almost like... It's it's a trade-off. You When you're in a career like he's... Like the music industry and you're as popular and famous as he is... You have to be selfish sometimes and you have to take care of yourself first and your career first. Cause if SNL tells, if he tells Saturday Night Live no, they're gonna be like, dude, what do you it's Saturday Night Live? They may never call again. So they might not. So it's been a dream of his to be on Saturday Night Live. I say you gotta do Saturday night Saturday Night Live. And like what Raven said, if you're a true diehard fan, you're gonna respect that decision that he's gonna make and and still Well, we've we've had this. We've had this problem before, and I think people are, are getting a little. But you know, uh, bands calling off a show because they're they're ill, they're underneath the, under the weather, those kind of things. So just kind of take it a little bit like that, except for this is a more career oriented. Give him the props he needs. Let him do his SNL show. Hopefully, he gets. I hope he gets an act, a little bit of an acting role in there, kind of like. Well, he will. Uh, I'm sure. I'm uh, sure yeah. he will. They I, always I, do. You know, like a. Uh, uh, Justin, um, why can't I think Justin Timberlake? Timberlake. Yeah, yeah, I mean, hilarious on SNL, him, and, and so hopefully he'll be able to get a little bit, and this will hopefully lead him into other roles because he can't keep writing music forever. Yeah, exactly. I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not mad at him. There was another point I was going to make, but I forgot it. Yeah, it, it, of course. it wasn't that bad. So, all right, well, I guess that concludes the show, Raven. I want to thank you so much for filling in for Jordan tonight. You yep. did great, so thank you for. Joining us, Sam, you suck as always. As, as yep. So, <laughs> yep. That's all the time we got on the episode tonight. Raven, stay right there to the left of the outro song, please. Please. Yep. Oh, wait. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and follow. I can always, forget, always, <laughs> the, I always forget that. You know why? Because right now would be Jordan's spot. So, Raven? Yeah. Please. I'm sorry. But, you know, th- yep. this is the one time that it's actually open for you to sub. It's okay to be a sub. Yeah. Just do it. What? I have no idea. I have no idea what she's talking about. I think she's no. It's because y'all are y'all are um y'all are more vanilla. Oh, oh yeah, we are. We are. We're vanilla. We are vanilla. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we're vanilla. Okay. Peace out. Rock on. And much love. This is the loud spot outro by nothing short of tragic. Is this all talk with no action? No. Is this my thoughts with distraction? No. 
Is this what I bought that's in fashion? Or is this the loud spot with Sebastian? Yes. Does nothing short of tragic have his back again? Yes. Does everything that's good really have to end? Yes. A pimp post has a pimp show, so to get more episodes, make an order, this is over.